this is Vivek and in this particular video we will talk about how can you use the last 7 days that you have before any particular software engineering interview so that you get the best results at the end of it right why is this strategy super important i think a lot of people in india have their internships and placements interviews coming up and if you are in the last 7 days kind of zone what i feel is many students get stressed up which means they kind of start thinking everything is unfinished so they start jumping here and there in a random manner which is not the best way to go forward in fact if you don't want to miss on something it's good to have a plan that these are the things that i need to recap and going through that will give you a structured revision for everything now i have taught thousands of students as of now in algozenith and i have seen that this plan has worked very well for a lot of them and hence you can actually follow this and get the benefits out of it now this particular plan that i will show you is designed in a way that it has retention of topics the topics are ordered in a way that it has high retention for you at the end and it is also in in a sense exhaustive which means it covers everything that you need for the interviews as such right so let's kind of get to the day wise plan so that you have a plan first of all and then i will tell you what to do in each day so that you have a full coverage of everything right so let's start with this is as day 7 right day 6 day 5 day 4 day 3 day 2 day 1 right so this is like let's suppose after this you have the first day day 0 of your campus in uh, on campus internships placements whatever it is you have 7 days before it right so what should you do in d minus 7 day d minus 6 day and so on so on the first day what i want you to focus on at the start is split every day into two parts okay two important core things that you have to do one would be a little bit of core cs revision because we know that in interviews you will be asked questions on core cs right and core cs is something that is of a subject of type that you forget if you remember things from like your semesters back in your college right so you have to recap it just before your interview so that you don't forget it now if you have your notes that's pretty well but if you don't i will share a resource for that as well in this particular video so now on day 7 i would love you all to look at operating systems because i think operating systems is pretty logical in the total amount of thing that it has in the first slot right so i will say slot 1 and slot 2 so divide your days in two parts which is part of the revision essentially give 3 to 4 hours to each slot and then sit with os for recap on the first day in slot 1 and either on on slot 2 it's it's dependent on you and do a little bit of dsa revision on slot 2 right because you have to answer frequently asked questions in these interviews right so dsa recap is also very important we'll talk about all the things that are relevant in details but let's first look at the time schedule so that we can then discuss using that okay next after os the next most logical subject that you can if you understand well you can retain it for a longer duration is going to be dbms right database management systems and then again you need uh, more than one day of course for dsa revision right uh, if somebody says that i can recap all of dsa in just one day that's that's pretty difficult to do i think even i would not be able to do that okay because there are a lot of topics right and i will tell you what all things you can do in these dsa parts we'll decompose even the each of these slots on what can you do and i will tell you some resources for each one of them okay now if you have this day 5 now the next logical thing would be network i think it's comparatively easier than the above two because only limited amount of topics of network questions do come up in interviews not all of it is required the theoretical so all of these are core cs subjects they are theoretical subjects in your computer science courses for let's suppose 30 hours as a lecture in in your colleges right but then we we only want to learn enough that is asked in interview so you just want to re recap the important parts of network and i think uh, over here also you will need one more day for dsa because without that you cannot complete i think 3 days of dsa is something you at least need i'll keep a room for the next day as well a little bit of dsa but that's only if you get time right now there are two more important thing that starts filling in one is oops okay i personally feel that oops is one of the most under prepared subject for many students oops is basically object oriented programming in whatever language you are like whatever whatever language is your major language which means if you are programming all of your questions in c++ you should learn how to do object oriented programming in c++ if you are doing it in java maybe learn that in java right so it takes two days i think there is a lot of things to learn about oops 
and there are a lot of tricky questions here and there that pops up so you should go through a lot of resources on oops and that will help you quite a lot to improve on this one okay now i say that this is a little optional alongside this dsa i'm also keeping a little bit of hr prep okay i will tell you what to do this, do in this hr prep if you if you haven't really done ever anything on, on this front okay next we'll talk about um, the next day is again oops and i will say that this is going to be a little bit of again hr prep itself okay i will uh, do a little bit of hr prep itself i will keep dsa over here also i will keep as an option optional dsa over here as well in case you cannot complete things because hr prep doesn't take too much of time but still it's very very important right now in the last two days i think you can what you can only do is mostly whatever notes you might have created throughout your journey of competitive programming or dsa whatever you have learned if you have created some notes maybe going through that would be very important because you will go through important tricks and techniques that you might have forgotten right and uh, over here again hr prep would be there right and now what you have to start with is resume resume preparation okay resume preparation i will ta talk about what exactly is going to be over here okay and in, on the final day what i want you to do again is just go through a little bit of notes uh, it's optional okay then what you should do is hr prep resume right and there is a important thing that you need to do over here okay before any particular company's interview so whichever company's interview is the next day you need to do a very important thing about that particular company i will tell you what exactly fills in over here it's super important okay so let's first talk about what you need to do about these subjects and then i will talk about this small gap what you can do in this small gap this is a very important thing to do if you miss this you might uh, actually lose a bonus point in fact okay and uh, once this days are over you will be on day 0 which means you have your interviews so i hope you are prepared by then right so now let's talk about dsa so in dsa i think at the very end you cannot really do all the questions again so if you have made notes that's something that helps but in general what i would suggest is if you are uh, if you have done a lot of questions like more than 200 problems it's good to go through those questions again and just look at codes directly at this point in time because you will not get time to code quite a lot but then again there are students who don't have that much of preparation if you are somebody like that i think at the end uh, doing a series like grind 75 is good enough because in these days you have to also look at other things and if you don't do grind 75 you will not be able to answer the most frequent questions also and that is a very bad reputation in front of an interviewer so make sure that you do at least the grind 75 questions i will link all of these things below in the description so that you can refer there okay so these 75 questions you can target and that should be good revision plus whatever you have done previously beyond that as well okay uh now let's talk about the core cs part so you have os right uh, os dbms networks and oops right now i'm going to refer to you a blog wherein you will get all the resources for all of these things right there will be a small medium blog where i i have already posted whatever resources i have used to study os dbms networks oops uh, back in when i was in college for oops if you are in c++ there is a really good site called learncpp.com that's a pretty standard site learn cpp.com right and that is going to also help you to get a grasp of a lot of c++ oops concept okay uh now apart from this if you are preparing for quant interviews there is also certain things that you can do right at the end i think there is a 50 problems in probability which is a very standard book and those problems of probability are pretty common too in the quant interviews now what do i mean by quant interviews so there are quant roles in companies like gs jpmc and then there are quant roles in hft companies as well now these companies focus mostly on probability a little bit of statistics and puzzles so you need to prepare them brainsteller is another standard site where you prepare for the puzzles part uh, heard on the street another known resource for puzzles some probability but mostly puzzles and make sure that you go through a lot of probability questions a theoretical probability course because expected values markov chains these kind of things are asked in over there okay so that is something you can also do if you are preparing for quant and if you have if you have the target make sure that you keep in separate times for that like i think these dsa days should actually get replaced by the your quant prep right 
मे बी फ्यू मोर इफ यू हैव दैट एज योर मेजर टारगेट डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर सी जी पे डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर टारगेट राइट नाउ वंस यू आर डन विद दैट देर इज गोइंग टू बी दिस एच आर प्रेप एंड रेज्यूम इज प्रिपरेशन वट इज दिस विवेक आई आई अंडरस्टैंड नोट्स आई अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स वट इज एच आर प्रेप एंड वट इज रेज्यूम प्रिपरेशन राइट सो वेन यू आर वेन यू विल बी सिटिंग फॉर एच आर राउंड राइट आफ्टर लेट सपोज यू हैव क्रैक्ट थ्री टेक्निकल इंटरव्यूज जनरली कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट रिजेक्टेड इन एच आर राउंड बट इफ यू आर समबडी हू गिवस टू बोगस आंसर्स देन यू विल नॉट बी सिलेक्टेड इन दीज राउंड एंड से फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल समबडी आस्क यू हे डू यू वॉन्ट गो फॉर एम एस आफ्टर योर कॉलेज राइट आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स आंसरिंग दैट येस आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क इन द कंपनी फॉर अ इयर एंड देन आई विल मूव टू एम एस आई विल ट्राई टू गेट एन एम एस इन यू एस एंड देन आई विल ट्राई टू स्विच जॉब्स ओके इफ दिस इज योर आंसर इंस्टेंटली यू विल गेट रिजेक्टेड यू डोंट हैव टू बी टू ऑनेस्ट इन दीज केसेस प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू प्रिपेयर आंसर्स फॉर दीज थिंग्स राइट Preparing for introductions very important. Every interview will start with an introduction. Have a very short, crisp, five-liners kind of an introduction, which will which should take ideally one minute or so. Don't blabber around too much. In HR interviews, you can go a little longer, but on technical ones, you should save time for technical questions, right? Well, how to give the interviews? That's a topic of another video. Let's talk about prep for now. So, introduction should be prepared, right? A uh, short description of each project. So that would be part of resume and HR both. But what I will say is that. You should prepare for short description of every project so that you can explain. Say, I ask you, hey, what did you do in this particular project? You should be able to explain what exactly did you build, what was the frameworks, uh, tools that you used, and what did you learn? Why did you build it? What were there might be questions on subtleties of that? You need to answer them, right? Also, people write a lot of like skill points, right? People write bunch of skill points in their CV. and then they don't even prepare that please do prepare anything and everything written on your resume can be asked in an interview so make sure that you prepare them very very well okay you have to be thorough with whatever you write if you are not confident on something please don't write that on your resume okay and that's pretty much the hr prep and resume in hr prep there will be more things like there would be uh, related it will be related to strength and weaknesses like you might be asked hey tell me some uh, one of your strength and one of your weaknesses i was asked this in manager round of uber right for my internships you might be asked uh, questions like uh, tell me what did you do in this project you, what exactly brought you to this project how did you show teamwork in this particular project and all these kind of hr questions right these are pretty standard i'll link out the resource for this also just go through that it will help you a turn to kind of prepare these questions beforehand because i remember i was not able to answer the weakness question very well if you if, i think i would have been better prepared if you would have known that i need to do an hr prep i did not do that before my internships right uh, but i did my technical interviews pretty well so i got selected but uh, i think that one question was a little on the side of slightly rejection right so but anyways that's that's there whatever is done is done right you can prepare pretty well now okay so now this is once this is done uh, hr prep is done resume is done you are pretty much good to go for the interviews right that's it that's all that you need to do after that there is this one small gap let's talk about this now okay before any particular interviews coming up like let's suppose tomorrow you have interviews for goldman sachs right just go on to google and search for goldman sachs interview experience right if there are certain blogs that are available on sites like lead code geeks for geeks on any many different sites have these see for the same years experience right i mean let's suppose you are sitting in 2023 so if you have blogs on 2023 on this particular topic please make sure to go through them i have seen instances when the same interviewer is actually taking interviews in different campuses right so people who love to take interviews take quite a lot of them and then everybody have their favorite questions everybody has their favorite question that they ask in the interview okay so if you know that question you can pretty well answer that very well i mean if you don't know that you can come up with the solution that should be the ideal way but if you know that question then that's much better right so just search for interview experience in the company name 2023 and whichever blogs comes in google just read them that's it that is something that you should do before every company that comes up this is like till days 1 like day minus 1 i have said i should number these as minuses actually right once you start with day 0 day 1 day 2 of your campuses or if there is no days then also like whatever the first company right so even after for for the later companies these all would be relevant but for every company you have to do this individually right you have to know about the company you have to prepare the previous year questions not previous year questions like same year questions in different campuses right 
that is sometimes that is very very helpful okay so that's pretty much it the that's pretty much the plan that you need to follow right i think this is something that is designed in a retention way so if you just follow this i am pretty sure that you will get a good like outcome out of it okay i'll link down everything that you need about this also what are few more things that you should be aware about this is i think the bonus section i don't know many people would not be watching till over here but i just wanted to spill some bonuses at the very end so two very interesting things that you can do right i think you should do right now before like this day 7 happens right is talk to your seniors right talk to your seniors of your department and with a similar cgpa you should know what are your realistic expectations of companies in your campus okay in india at least there is huge amount of biases across companies on how much cgpa they prefer what departments do they prefer some are circuital only some open for all departments but some open for all but they don't select other departments and stuff you don't want to waste your time on and energy on those companies right so it is known that there are certain companies that are notoriously known for like only selecting computer science graduates so if you are not in that department then don't bother about those companies too much sit for the test apply for them no worries on that but if you don't get selected you will not feel the rejection pain because i feel the most difficult thing after this minus day minus 1 would be to actually sustain the rejections and keep preparing there after right so if you have an expectation in mind ki these are the realistic options for me and i need to get selected in one of them even if you get rejected in others you will not feel that pain too much right because you knew that for my department this is not going to select anyways right so that's a good strategy to have in mind okay one more thing that you can do is like talk to your senior with a similar cgpa that what were the companies that they sat for last year which came and uh, which did a biasing about these kind of things which were their realistic options that those same options will be there for you too the second thing is i feel the days when you choose between dsa and dev are a little gone i mean we are amid a uh, uh, crisis kind of situation right like there is not too many jobs like not like 2021 for sure right we have lesser jobs now available so now you are going to see the place where people who are both good in like cpdsa and in dev kind of rising you don't need to do both of them at a superior level one of them at a good level and one of them at medium that's the best build that you can possibly have right now because one builds your resume pretty well and the other builds your interview and coding test cracking skills right so make sure that you kind of prepare your cv with projects so that you can talk about them also what i've seen is sometimes projects in your cv guide your interview quite a lot so make sure you choose them very well right and uh, if you have time if you are seeing this video much before you are actually going to sit for your internships and placements uh, i'm very very happy that you are actually looking for preparing for these things early on and you now know what all things would be th there at the end so start preparing for even these things early on in fact before this there are online assessments go and check out certain online assessments and see at what difficulty they come i can guarantee you that i have been seeing recent companies online assessments they are not crackable with just dsa right so have a look at these companies test see what they are asking and see how can you prepare for them as well right uh, like last till last year microsoft used to ask uh, simpler questions day before yesterday i was taking a discussion in agozenit uh, on the questions that came this time in campuses i was seeing that the questions were not easy they were not at all easy i mean i would rate them medium hard when i'm saying medium hard that is hard for most people right so the oes are changing quite a lot and to crack them you need to prepare pretty well so start with understanding what you all what all things you need start preparing them and see the realistic things that you will have to prepare for okay with that i'll like kind of sign off i'll give all of you a best of luck for all the interviews that you will be sitting for because i think this is like an internship and placement season so anybody who is watching for that best of luck have maybe like i hope you get a good company that you have been aiming for for some time now and uh, subscribe so that you don't miss videos like this like the video make the youtube baba happy i'll keep creating more content till then see you bye